What's up everybody? As I'm sure many of you have already seen, earlier today Blizzard released a new teaser which not only was for the brand new Kanazaka Deathmatch map, but also provided new clues and evidence for the upcoming Fox Girl hero which we've had teased in various forms previously. Now while I already made a rambly video covering my initial thoughts on this brand new teaser and the details it had to offer, I wanted to do this quick follow up video to talk a bit more about when exactly we can expect to see this new hero release. Based on the type of teaser we got today, it definitely feels like Blizzard is building up to a fairly imminent new hero reveal, but with Overwatch 2 still being quite a ways off, how could that really work? Well, we actually have a good bit of evidence to go on which suggests that this new Fox Girl hero could be releasing much sooner than you'd otherwise expect certainly well before the release of Overwatch 2. This is Master EN Gamer. Real quick before I delve into this video, I just want to remind you to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you end up enjoying this video, as that way you'll never miss any of my future Overwatch news and content. But now, let's discuss why the Kanazaka Fox Girl hero is likely much closer than you originally thought. So right off the bat, I want to tackle a sort of, not really a misconception, but rather I think a misunderstanding of information when it comes to the fact that Blizzard has apparently stated we won't be getting any more new heroes after Echo before the release of Overwatch 2. Now as far as I'm aware, there's only one actual instance of an Overwatch developer outright stating this, and this is from Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan back in March of 2020, stating that currently Echo is the last hero coming to standard Overwatch. Now, this information comes from an IGN article in an interview they did with Jeff Kaplan back in March, and on its own seems to be a pretty good indicator that we won't be seeing any other heroes after Echo prior to the sequel. However, we actually have some other information which suggests that maybe, just maybe, there is still a chance of a new hero prior to the sequel. One of these was a statement made by, again, Jeff Kaplan in an interview with fellow YouTuber Stylosa back during the same time frame in March of 2020. In it, Jeff specifically states that we won't be seeing any more heroes after Echo this year in reference to what is now last year, 2020, but doesn't say anything regarding no new heroes at all prior to Overwatch 2. Could we be seeing more heroes this year for Overwatch? I don't think we'll see okay. more heroes this year yeah. for Overwatch. We're heavily focused on yeah. Overwatch 2 yeah. at this point. Um, we know how much people love new heroes. We are making a bunch of new heroes for Overwatch 2. Um, we have tanks and supports in the works. There is hero development happening, yeah. but I don't want to get people's expectations in the wrong place. We will not be getting another hero this year. Okay, that's cool. Now, it's possible that Jeff did in fact mean there wouldn't be any new heroes before Overwatch 2 and just happened to word it in this way due to the nature of the question, but if we take his words literally here, then all he said is that there wouldn't be any new heroes in the year 2020. And given that we're now in 2021, that does leave us open to get a new hero just based on this interview. But on top of this, a far more convincing bit of evidence we have came from Overwatch streamer AlphaCast in an interview he did, once again back in March of 2020, with one of the Overwatch character artists. In this interview, the dev stated that the Overwatch team, of course, wants to release another new hero before Overwatch 2, and that at the time it was being discussed, but given that that would basically mean delaying Overwatch 2, it probably wouldn't happen. However, according to him, it was not a definitive no. So simply based on this evidence, the impression I get is that as of March 2020, Blizzard's plan was to not release any new heroes after Echo, and instead predominantly focus on just finishing Overwatch 2, and then any new heroes they had would be released with the sequel. However, as I'm sure we all are well aware at this point, nothing really went as planned for anybody in the year 2020, especially following the month of March, and considering the fact that Overwatch 2 has almost certainly been delayed due to the pandemic, we've seen over the past year, I think it's very likely that Blizzard could have re-evaluated their content release schedule for Overwatch in order to release another new hero before the sequel. I think this is especially likely considering what we've learned more recently regarding the release of Overwatch 2 and how it's apparently still a good ways off, possibly not coming out for even another year at this point, so the idea of them pushing a hero forward that they originally had planned for the sequel seems very possible. In fact, maybe even very likely, considering the massive content gap they would otherwise be left with. 
So now, how does this all tie back to the Kanazaka Fox Girl and this new teaser we got for her, which released earlier today? Well, as I talked about in my initial analysis video, the format of this teaser is very reminiscent of other hero teasers we've gotten in the past, particularly when it comes to heroes like Brigitte and Baptiste, who had these sort of teasers sort of hinting towards the character without outright saying who they were in the week leading up to their release. Now, I realize I just said in the week leading up to their release, but I don't want to get anyone's hopes up that high. I do not think we're going to see this new Fox Girl hero release in the immediate future, but I do think they are fairly close. The reason I don't think that we're going to see the new hero releasing in the next week or two is because of just how much other content is being released at this point in time when it comes to Overwatch. Again, I mentioned this in my video earlier today, but we literally just got the Kanazaka map on live servers. In fact, at the time of me recording this, it still hasn't actually gone to live and will be tomorrow, along with the new Kanazaka Challenge mini event, which is going to be running for two weeks. This mini event is going to have a new Hanzo skin alongside some other cosmetic items to unlock. And on top of this, this Wednesday, we're also going to be getting the next Tracer comic issue. So that's a ton of content for Overwatch already happening within the course of just two weeks. The thought that they're going to reveal the new Fox Girl hero on top of all this during this exact same time window, and presumably they'd put her on the PTR as soon as they reveal her, that just seems like an awful lot of content for Blizzard to put out in such a tiny time window, especially considering how little content we get overall these days. It would make much more sense for them to space the things out a bit more so that we're not getting a ton of stuff all at once, but rather we get a more trickle stream of content as time goes on. In addition to all this Overwatch content, which we're going to be getting just over the next couple weeks, we also, of course, have the 2021 Lunar New Year event, which is most likely going to be starting the first week of February. And not long after that, we have BlizzCon Online, the online version of BlizzCon, since BlizzCon 2020 had to be delayed and then canceled due to, of course, the pandemic. So if we are to look at this teaser and consider it based on past hero teasers we've gotten, on its own it definitely suggests that we're going to be getting a new hero very soon, as in like a week or two, but given the context of everything else that's happening with Overwatch right now, it just doesn't really make much sense. Especially when it comes to BlizzCon, given that BlizzCon is a big event for Overwatch and Blizzard as a whole, and it would make far more sense to release a new hero at BlizzCon as opposed to a month prior. If they're really planning to release a hero at this point in time prior to the release of Overwatch 2, why wouldn't they just delay its release a month so they can announce it at BlizzCon where it's inevitably going to get a ton more attention because everybody's paying attention. It's BlizzCon. Everybody tunes in expecting to see new information about Overwatch and Blizzard's other titles. So yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up for this hero releasing imminently. However, there is some interesting information we get from the teaser itself, which I think does give us a good idea of when she is going to release as a hero. Multiple times throughout this letter itself and in the teaser posted on social media to promote it, it mentions the transition from winter to spring. Additionally, it even mentions that cherry blossoms are in bloom at the time of this letter being written. Now, for those of you who don't know too much about cherry blossom trees, one of the very unique aspects of them is that they have a very short, very specific window in which they actually bloom and turn the pretty pink color. Specifically, Japanese cherry blossoms always bloom during the last week of March and the first week of April. This period of about two weeks is the only time of year in which cherry blossoms bloom like this. And I think this is a very good indicator of when we're going to see the new hero. Additionally, as I mentioned this, the author writes that the seasons are changing from winter to spring. And in the year 2021, the first day of spring is Saturday, March 20th. While this isn't the final week of March when cherry blossoms are typically seen to bloom, it is very close, and I think further suggests that late March is a prime time to pay attention to when it comes to when we can expect this new hero to release. 
Now, another thing that's worth taking note of is that for every new hero added to Overwatch, there are technically two different release dates. There's the hero's initial reveal slash release onto PTR, where players on PC are capable of testing out the new hero on the PTR region, and then the hero's official release, where it goes to live servers for everyone to be able to play on both PC and console. I think this indication of a late March release window for the Kanazaka Fox Girl is hinting at her live server release date which means that her reveal and release onto Overwatch PTR will happen three to four weeks before that. The reason I think this is going to be the case is that if we take the last full week of March and assume this is the week they're going to go to live servers and rewind about four weeks prior to that, that places us in the week immediately following BlizzCon. Now, for those of you who haven't followed Overwatch as closely as I have over the years, whenever a hero is revealed at BlizzCon, which for the record, the heroes who've been revealed at BlizzCon were Sombra, Moira, and Ash, these heroes were made playable for BlizzCon attendees on the show floor, but only went to the PTR the following week. This is because BlizzCon historically takes place on a weekend, but Blizzard very rarely ever does patches on the weekend, so they would just delay the hero a couple days until it was the next week, and then people on PC would be able to play her around the world, using the PTR of course. So, what I think is going to happen is this year's BlizzCon event, we are going to, of course, get new Overwatch 2 information, which has already been confirmed to be something they'll talk about, but on top of that, we are going to get the official reveal of the new Kanazaka Fox Girl hero. We're likely going to get to see what she looks like, learn her actual name, probably see her abilities and backstory, and then a few days later, likely on that Monday or Tuesday, the Overwatch PTR will update and she'll be playable for people on PC. Then, and after four weeks of being tested on the PTR to make sure she's bug-free and isn't breaking anything in-game, she'll be pushed to live servers in the last full week of March, which corresponds with when we'd see cherry blossoms blooming and also the spring equinox. Now, I should note that this is, of course, just speculation on my part based on the evidence we have in front of us. Again, it is certainly possible that this is just a super far in advance teaser and we won't actually see her added as a hero until Overwatch 2 actually releases, which from what we know now won't be until late 2021 at the absolute earliest. But just based on the amount of detail crammed into this Kanazaka teaser, I'm not convinced this is done just to tease the map, which had already been on PTR, by the time of its release. The amount of detail here focusing on this unnamed character who is the daughter of the letter's author definitely suggests to me that they are in fact going to be a new hero and that more than likely they're going to be coming fairly soon. Again, I don't think they're immediately going to be released, but I do think we're going to be seeing them in about another month once we finally get BlizzCon. But of course, I could always be wrong. Maybe Blizzard will just decide to cram a ton of new content right into this tiny week and we'll be getting a a new map, a hero challenge, a new comic, and a new hero, all in the course of like seven or eight days. It's possible, but not very likely in my opinion. Now, I realize this video has already run way longer than I initially anticipated, but I do also want to mention real quick that I will still be doing a Hero Watch video for the Kanazaka Fox Girl, which I'm planning to release later this week. For those of you who are unfamiliar, my Hero Watch series is a video series where I take a specific character and analyze all the story details we know about them and speculate their chance of becoming a future playable hero and even delve a bit into what sort of abilities and mechanics they might have. I've already covered heroes like Mauga, the Junker Queen, Overlord, so feel free to check out the playlist if you haven't seen it already, which I'll have linked on the cards on screen. And in my next episode, I will be covering the Kanazaka Fox Girl and doing a complete analysis of all the new information we now have for her, which, if I'm being honest, is a lot. I haven't fully outlined the video just yet, but I got a feeling it's gonna be a long one, so definitely look forward to that video coming, hopefully pretty soon. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please Please let me know your thoughts on when we could potentially be seeing this new hero by dropping a comment down below. Do you agree with my theory that we'll see them revealed at the upcoming BlizzCon and then have them go to live servers about a month after that? Or do you have your own ideas about when this new hero is going to be released? Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, hit up that bell icon, and come join my Discord server and never miss any of my future Overwatch content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. And 
if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards and support my channel, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master EN Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.